what I want to do is I want to show you a uh, kind of give you an overview of sets. I've already done two videos. Um, if you haven't seen them, please go and check out the the, the links on this uh, on this video so you can see the other two um, two videos I made. But I want to do one more with a Venn diagram where actually I have two sets included in there. So um, again, remember set is just a collection of objects. And those objects can really be um, anything. And one of the uh, previous things we looked at, we also talked about the universal set. And the universal set is a special kind of set because the universal set contains all of the elements. And we like to denote that with an uppercase U. Universal set, you know, if you think of the universe, contains all the planets and everything. A universal set is a set that contains all the sets and everything, all of the objects. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a nice Venn diagram. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create the universal set. And I'm going to write the label right there. So this is my universal set. Now within my universal set, I'm going to have a couple other sets, which um, we call subsets. And remember, a subset is a set within a set. So we're going to create two subsets. And I'm going to label these two sets P and R. Now, within these two sets, um, we're going to have some numbers. And actually, between within the universal, I'm going to put two numbers. Then we'll have 5, 8, 6, 7, and 9. So what I want to do is I just want to kind of go over a little bit of information uh, so it's very easy for you guys to you know, kind of follow exactly what each one of these uh, represents. So the first thing is let's just start labeling all the elements for each set. So our universal set, remember, contains all of our elements. So that becomes 3 and 4, 5, 8, 6, 7, and 9. So a lot of times we like to use brackets to go and hold our sets together. Now, the next thing you'd like to do is uh, let's go and take a look at what each individual um, subset within the universal set um, contains. So if, let's go and look at our set P. So what exactly are all the elements that are located in set P? So when I'm looking at set P, what I'm going to do is I look at this and I see the elements there, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So I'm going to go ahead and write. Hello. 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 Then the next thing I'm going to go and look at is I'm going to see what are all the elements that are in set R. Now, the next thing I want to do is there's two other things that uh, uh, I want to look at. One thing I want to remind you guys of is working with the complement. Um, if you remember from last time or last video, the complement of a set is everything that's not in the set but that, that's in our universal set. So if I'm going to look at P prime, which we represent as the complement, when I look at P prime, I see that what is everything that's not in my, my set P but that is in my universal set. So what I notice is everything that's not in this set is 3, 4, and 9. Let's look at R. So when I go ahead and look at R prime, I see everything that's not in R, but that's in my universal set. So what I notice is that's 3, 4, 5, and 8. I'm sorry. Yeah, 3, 4, 5, and 8. And actually, in another video, what I'll do is I'll go over intersection and union with you. But for right now, if you guys can just remember our universal set, and then we have um, what our subsets are, and then also the complements of both of our subsets. So that is our set overview number three. In the next one, I'll go over um, how to do intersection and union and the complement of intersection and union.